Hello everyone and welcome. Nowadays everything is digital, including the way we store and play our music. But there's something about the simple way we used to do it. I'm talking about the cassette tape, once the way to store and play music. It's a simple analog design, but how does it work? The tape consists of a thin plastic base material coated with ferric oxide powder. It's an oxide of iron. The oxide is ferromagnetic. This means that when it's placed in a magnetic field, it will be permanently magnetized. This is the basic principle of the cassette tape. That's also why you shouldn't store cassettes near magnets. If I take this magnet and rub it against this bolt, I will magnetize it. If I then take a compass and put the bolt near it, you can see it is attracted. The bolt has started the magnetic charge. The head is very simple in design. It's basically an iron core with a small gap at the bottom. A thin wire coil is wrapped around the core. When a current is forced through the coil, a magnetic field will be generated and the flux will jump across the gap. If the tape is moving below the head, the iron oxide will be magnetized at the signal that is provided to the coil. The electrical signal is now permanently stored in the magnetic tape. When reading the tape, the exact opposite happens. The tape moves below the head and the magnetic signal on the tape generates a small current in the coil. This current is amplified and sent to the speakers to reproduce the sound. Here I have a coil with an iron core. At the ends of the coil I attach this LED. If I now take a magnet which resembles, which resembles the magnetic charge in the tape and move it past the core, you can see the LED lighting up. The magnetic charge is converted to an electrical signal. Let's take a look at the tape surface. The tape is divided into two parts, side A and side B. If the tape is done playing on one side, you can turn it around and play the other side. Each side has two channels, one for the left audio and the other for the right audio. Together they form the stereo band. These channels line up with the stereo head and the magnetic signal is converted to a small electrical signal. This is amplified and sent to the speakers. This, together with the right playing speed, is all it takes to play and record music on a simple analog way. Pretty simple, right? Have a nice day and thanks for watching.